Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this 67 Corvette I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, Scotty. How are you, brother? Good, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing outstanding, thank you. Beautiful sunny day, nice it, weather. It is. And Birds chirping. We are, we're on to something now. There you go. C2 Corvettes. <laughs> I think they're, I think they're some of the prettiest Corvettes ever made. In, especially 1967, right. there's just something about them. Everybody loves them, 67 Corvettes. Right. Everybody talks about that 63 with the split window, and of course, you know, that's iconic. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I think when they took the split out, the cars are just as cool, just as pretty oh, yeah. as they were before. It's funny, it's either the 60, everybody loves the 63 or the 67. But the cars in between, they look just about like them. It's right. just something about a 63 and a 67. Right. Yeah, maybe no. the first and the last. Who knows? I dig this color. <laughs> I like the stance. I like the wheel choice. I wouldn't change anything about it. Yeah, they got a, a really cool wheel uh, on there. When they brought the car, it had some just rollers on it, and right. I, uh, they brought the wheels that go on the car, and it, it totally changed the whole appearance of the car. Some, it, you know, a good wheel stance, uh, a, a wheel choice, and the stance and everything is really what makes them cars stand out it's oh key. yeah you gotta yeah, have you know, a good looking you wheel. got to you got to start with the, the stance the foundation mm -hmm. and build it from there and then i like i doubt I, I they could be but i don't know that those are real knockoffs but i like the fact that they have a, a knockoff type of wheel on this yeah corvette yeah they're they're actually they, they bolt on but the knockoff cover i mean it's got that knockoff right. cover it looks really cool right. on there and you know it's a, it's a burgundy car a burgundyish reddish you know really really pretty and sun pops out but in, in, when they put the gray wheels on it yeah ron Sala uh, actually contacted us want us to do the interior in this car and the, he's on his way right now from michigan to pick it up so he should be here within an hour or so what part of michigan uh grand rapids i think yeah, yeah. all right so uh, somewhere right up in that area being from toledo i always have to ask <laughs> no I, you know i'm not a hundred percent but i just know he's from michigan right on. and he just like i just want the outside and the inside to match and i'm like okay so well, that's how we come up with the gray interior with the red stitch and just a little bit of the red cloth in the doors just to make it when you're standing away from it and you look in you know you can see the contrast and the the color pick up and everything it looks really neat looking yeah no that was a feature that when i first looked at it because I, I don't know if it is or not but to me it kind of comes out as a modern type of feature touch to it mm -hmm. so when i looked in there at first it kind of surprised me but it didn't take but a second for it to start to sink in and then yeah. once it did and i stood back and looked at it i was like yeah no steve, steve knows uh, what he's doing he still knows what he's doing yeah, that maybe for cool. a little bit huh? <laughs> yeah right he got he had me fooled for a second mm -hmm. but now he knows what he's doing okay. now i really did i know i know lately i've been coming out here and telling you you've been killing them man yeah. but i'm telling you you guys are you guys are on a roll right now thank you we appreciate it yeah we, i mean we, and it's like every car we try to strive to do something a little better and you know always trying to strive to do better if you, if you ever get satisfied with your work or whatever then you next thing you know you'll be going backwards so right we always try to try to make things you know look at stuff try to do things a little different whatever you know just to Try to keep up, you know. Right now, you give a little bit more room in the C1s. Do you do anything for the C2s? Well, no, the C2 is actually a bigger car than the C1 was okay. anyway. So they're they're fairly comfortable just the way they was. Uh, of course, it only, it's just like the C1. You can only go back so far, right. you know, before you hit the the little the compartment that you have yeah. for the rear end and everything in it. So, But they they actually had a little bit more room than the, than the first generation cars. It's got the... Um, an amplifier in the back, back area where you see the V and it's painted gray, that's actually a screen that'll keep the um, amplifier cooled off and they've got speakers in the back. So, so we try to give a little bit of updated sound, but not, you know, So that radio anything. that's in, it's a modern radio and all It that. is. It's one of the modern radios and we, we hooked up an amplifier to it. You know, it's just got the Bluetooth. You can Bluetooth right. your radio. I mean, pretty much as long as you can get Bluetooth from your uh, telephone, you can play whatever music you want. You know, just... You just need a signal. Yeah, and, and that's a, that's an old school looking right. radio with a signal. So, oh, how cool is that? Yeah. And I don't know why, but I do every now and then. As good as these cars sound, I get somebody coming on going, "Where's the stereo? What about the stereo?" Yeah. So, you know, folks, say, and most of these cars and seat belts too. Another thing is, I get questioned about is a lot with seat belts. You look at this car, you may think it doesn't have seat belts. It has them. They're just tucked next to the seat, keep right. them out of the way to make it look clean. Yeah, I don't I don't like throwing the seat belts up on the seat. You know, just tuck them down there beside the seat. They're there if you need them, and if you don't want to look at them, just tuck them down beside the seat and roll on right on but no i think it's beautiful you know what color is it yeah gray is it yeah it's a it's a real dark um it's actually called not shade gray okay. so it's almost black uh, on the you know pattern it's called not shade so we did the not shade color and the, the red stitch to bring the red on the outside into the inside and then of course we got the led lights that light up the 
everybody loves them. I, you know, I mean, it, and it just makes that interior just pop once you turn them lights on and everything. It just glows. And then again, all the LEDs that we put in, they're dimmable, they're adjustable. Where you can at nighttime, if you just want a little glow, you can turn them down and set know. the mood. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause and it, the cool thing about that feature is, is when you're not using them, you don't know they're there. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't like to see them. Right. So you turn it off, and you never know they're right, there. Right. Right. So if for some reason somebody goes, I don't like LED lights. Turn it off. Don't turn them over. Don't, don't ever turn <laughs> right. them on. Exactly. You'll never know they're there. Yeah, exactly. No. Again, what is this thing? It says a 427. Is 427? Well. It, it's probably a 427 car. Now, I would say that they've put a 427 uh, LS motor in there just to keep, you know, right. the 427. That's that's what I, I would guess on that thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've... They all look the same, yeah, maybe. There's yeah. really no way to tell them apart, but yeah. You I can think, call it whatever you want to call right. it, right? <laughs> I'm guessing maybe it's an LS7 and 10. There could be an LS3, but yeah, that would make sense with the 427 yeah. part of it. Yeah, they made the 427 in the newer cars, but, right. you know, the small block LS motor, which right. really comes alive when you give it the gas and that thing sounds like it'll be fun to drive and you know, right. no again y'all nailed it scotty i appreciate it as always thank you brother thank you so there you go from steve holcomb pro auto custom interiors a very cool 1967 chevrolet corvette hope you all have enjoyed it see ya Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.